Welcome to the Ruffle Daisy. Today I'm going to show you how to make an adorable wall hanging with a set of coasters and a napkin. This is going to turn out so cute. I got these coasters at Home Goods. So the first thing that we're going to do is just pop off or scrape off the felt pads on the back. I had a scrap piece of wood. I'm just going to put a couple coats of paint on it to get it started. Once your piece is completely dry, we can move on to the next step of playing around with our napkin. So I use the front part of it and we're gonna peel our layers apart. And this has a really pretty foil look, so I think that's gonna go perfect with this project. I took a very thin paintbrush and traced just outside our design. And that is going to leave it to where we have a very solid line to tear our napkin with. This is going to create a really cool effect and it's going to just meld very smoothly onto our piece once it's done and you're not even going to be able to see those edges. So here you can tell I'm just trying to figure out placement. I want my blessed napkin in the middle so once I figure out where I want that we're going to put a little bit of Mod Podge down and then we're going to just very gently lay our napkin down on top of the Mod Podge. We are not going to go over the top of our napkin because I don't want to take away from that foil look. Now I'm just trying to figure out where I want my coasters. These are cute wooden coasters that are a little bit distressed. Um, put some hot glue on them. I do use high temp glue. It's just going to be make it a little bit more secure. I wanted to decorate the edges of my piece with some more gold paint just to accent the gold foil that was on the napkin. And so I'm just taking a putty knife. Um, this is kind of like a palette knife or you can use a plastic knife just that you would use when you're entertaining. Dip it a little bit into your paint and just scrape it along the edges. That is literally it. I did some to the top of the coasters got it all dry and this looks absolutely adorable in the room that I have it in. If you love this DIY and want to learn all other home decor projects, please visit theruffledaisy.org. Thank you for watching.